Okay, so we know when we have three to a negative one, so we know three and x to a negative one, so we know x. Now, how about when we have ten negative one of x? I'll give you guys five seconds. Five plus three to one. This right here is actually the inverse of tangent x. This right here is actually not the same as one over tangent x. I know this is crazy. Nobody likes this notation, which will be using the R tangent notation, right? But that's actually too long. So today I want to thank Vincent for suggesting us a new notation. Check this out. We are going to let, and as you can see earlier, was T A N. So now let's go ahead and put down N A T of x be the inverse of tangent x. And this is genius. And what does this do? Well, check this out. Suppose you want to solve an equation. Let's say we have tangent x. It's equal to 5. Now all you have to do is just apply the NAT. And maybe we can call this guy Nate. So we can take the Nate function on both sides. And as you can see, T and T cancel. And the N cancel. A and N cancel. And N and N cancel. And then you just get x is equal to Nate of 5. Oh my god, this is so much easier, right? And in fact, this is not the first time that you guys have seen this before. If you guys know this notation, this is what? Yeah. Yes, ohm like this, right? And if you put this upside down, you get what? Yes, like this, which is what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 